Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about Pangolet. Now, as it reads, when activated, the player equips a rocket launcher and fires Pangolet as ammunition. Pangolet explodes on contact and is incapacitated. So, some things that I wanted to test out is because since the Pangolet is the projectile itself, does Ice Emperor or Lord of the Sea or a combination of both work for him? So we have these four Pangolets that I bred up one with ice emperor another one with lord of the sea another one with lucky and the other one with lord of the sea and ice emperor their attack power are relatively the same this one here is at 702 but we boost it up to 795 which is closer with one of the kelp seas so we'll be having to do that and just as reference the kelp sea only boost attack power it does not boost the power itself like the water attack so we'll be able to even out their attack power with that i guess first one that we're gonna test as our base would be lucky and i have them all named out here so i don't forget which one's which i have ice c i c and then lucky ah, ha, ha. all right first up is lucky get a baseline form 10,522. next we're gonna do lord of the sea 10,500. The Lord of the Sea, in fact, does not do any extra damage. Let's try Ice Emperor. I did 11, but this could be a possibility. We'll have to retest him if he hits around the 10-5 marker. And then we have Ice and Sea. And we'll be putting this Kelp Sea behind it to even it out to about as close as we can get it for attack power. 1098. This one had ice on it, so that is a possibility. So we'll wait for their stuff to reset and we'll retest these two here because they hit a little bit higher. There is a way to speed up their healing process, and that is to put them out from the box because then they go to, instead of incapacitated, they go to major injury. We'll retest the whole group again, though, just to make sure that we're still on point. We'll do this time Lord of the Sea and Ice first. 1226 ice next 115 now we'll do lord of the sea oh crap well this thing is just stuck on my shoulder now oh it just disappeared i can't do anything though i can't throw out anything this happened to me before and i could not debug this at all i had to restart the game so unfortunately that's what we're gonna have to do here we got lord of the sea Doing 12, 3, and then we have our lucky. Doing 10, 5. All right, we're going to test this lucky one more time. Yeah, 11, 8. Even though it looked like it was about to be winning with these guys here, it in fact was not. Because I had tested these earlier and they all hit the exact same, or around about the exact same. And this kind of proves my point after testing them quite a few times. And we can even retest the Ice Emperor as well. Is that doing more damage? <laughs> Try Lucky one more time. If we hit in the 12s, then we know that it's round about the same. 11-2. Try our ice one again. 11-8. Yeah, so I think, I think the numbers are close enough percentage-wise that with a rocket launcher, it kind of ranges a lot more with its damage. Try the lucky one more time. 10-3. Maybe it does. 11-4. I and mean, it's been consistently higher. Try both Lord of and Ice Emperor with our Kelpsy. 11 8. If we can hit 12 with this lucky, then that would be a more definitive answer. There's 12. Okay, that explains it. So with it being a rocket projectile, the numbers are going to be skewed a lot heavier in different directions. I'll even demonstrate this with a regular rocket launch. Wait a minute. Did it get stuck in my hand again? Mm, me no likey. That is a glitch that happens more often than not. I'm not sure what's causing it. But yeah, we could demonstrate this phenomenon with a regular rocket launcher as well. This is a regular, well, not a regular rocket launcher, but a rocket launcher nonetheless, not the pangolet launcher. As you can see, it varies.
yeah we went from 22 to 25 to 26 to 24 so the rocket launcher varies in damage pretty often so in my opinion is going to be better off to use almost lucky because you're going to get more attack power out of it we'll take these guys and pull their souls off of them we're going to go with the pangolet here that i four starred now with no souls and no food we're at about 821 now we can boost him since he is both water and ice with either one of these and we can see it's 910 now and even if we put a fox sickle on it it's 910 so it doesn't matter which one you use either one is fine if you're early game and you're using this guy then you're probably going to be going with kelp seas because fox sickles are up in this level like 30 ish area a small snow zone but what we're going to do is we're going to boost them with kelp seas three kelp seas we're at 1087 I'll put some souls into him so with the maximum amount of souls that we can get into him he's at 14 13 pretty good damage and also that you're thinking well what does it look like with in comparison to using maybe a player damage mod we will demonstrate that now so now we're doing 14 with the kelpsies that we have which each have vanguard and stronghold strategies but if we put the goblins behind this then our player damage would be going up by 30 percent instead of 10 percent on each one of the types so we'll load them up and this is with the kelp seas 42 oh also maxing out his defense <laughs> actually made it to where we could use him a second time and he isn't completely incapacitated that's good all right let's boost it up with some gob fins see what we get with that all right gob fins stacked 29 so yeah vanguard and gob fins do not in fact boost the damage that the pangolet does so since he's not necessarily strong or weak against anything we could pretty much use him on anybody so he's not going to be using a water or an ice as his primary damage it's going to be whatever the weapons are which falls in line with the grizzbolt tansy left monk masanda and relaxa oris relax source that's what i call it relax oris but yeah falls in in the same category as those we're also going to feed him some food so now we're doing 1696 now there is also one more test that i wanted to do and i wanted to compare him as a rocket launcher when he's backed by kelp seas to my rocket launcher when they're backed by gob fins what is going to be a higher damage and with the legendary rocket launcher 51 that's pretty 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 high don't worry folks he's okay he didn't lose hardly any health we can actually reset him and use him multiple times i'm gonna take and gobfin stack myself we're only gonna use three kind of keep it fair 45 so you know maxing him out and doing like a crazy build like this is putting him on par if not at a higher damage than the regular rocket launcher let's add a fourth gobfin in here just to see what we can press out of him and i'll eat food 55 so after a full gobs fin stack we're doing about the same oh yeah we hit about almost 60 there we're doing roughly about the same as the pangolin so this is actually a good option too because say that you're just under the cusp of 49 and you haven't quite hit this or if you want to use it early game then there's an option and this is the legendary rocket launcher so even making the regular rocket launcher wouldn't be near as good as using like a maxed out pangolin of course you would have to do the reset glitch and who knows how long that's going to last but we'll actually do a little timer here too this is is a, i'll test this as well how long does it take for his actual partner skill to reset all right three two one go time right about three minutes how long it took for his partner skill to reset so if they ever fix it then there's your timing we need to go test him against blaze all right we got our pingolet Not as much damage I was thinking that he was going to do. Did about, did about half damage, not bad. But yeah, not quite. Oh, but we blizzard spiked him, so that did the rest of it. We did two blizzard spikes and two rocket launchers and killed him. No, his primary is water. So yeah, if this was doing correct damage, then he should be doing more if it was a water type. Let's test him against Anubis. We did hit level 50. Now we're doing 1746. And we only halved uh, Anubis as well. 
Test him against the Suzuku or Suzuku. Hooty hoo. And about half health the Suzuku as well. So not really incredibly impressed with the actual damage that's being done on the pals. It's getting towards dusk, so we'll go test him against Necromus as well. Pretty decent damage there, but he's literally freezing me to death. So he did pretty good initial starting damage. But yeah, we're not going to see that fight all the way through. So in short, is the Pinglet worth maxing out? I'm going to chalk it up to no. I figured that he would be on par with a rocket launcher, but it doesn't seem that he is. I mean, if you're in early game and you want to use one as a starting attack initiation, then yeah, you could do that. He's a good first base pal as well. He's got watering one. It's basically your first waterer that you get. Get your farms going plantations and he does do transporting but yeah as far as maxing him out a little a little underwhelmed after testing him on the pingolet dummy i was expecting big numbers but that is uh not the case apparently so yeah is the pingolet worth maxing out i'd say no not at all uh is it worth for an initial beginning rocket launcher sure we'll chalk it up to that it is a good immobilizer it will stun him there is a way that you could do the same cheese with him but it's not required for you to max him out to where where you freeze them with either blizzard spike or something along that lines and then you take and rocket launch him into said frozen pal launches them up in the air then they fall and die from falling damage so there is that but that's only if you're looking for the kill and i guess the xp at that point you're not going to be able to catch any that do that and as we demonstrated yesterday sometimes that works sometimes that does not but other than that if you enjoy my content drop a sub if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you guys would leave a comment down down below on what you think about the pangolin next up we have the tukituki bird other than that you guys keep your willy washed and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out